A typically busy summer's day at the Tower of London. Visitors from around the world here to soak up the historic atmosphere. Always a favourite, the guards. Grenadier in flavour today, keeping a watchful eye on the entrance to the Jewel House. But unbeknown to many visitors, history was being made here today. For the first time ever, part-time soldiers, reservists, will take a turn at guarding the tower. And here they are. These are soldiers from 3rd Battalion, the Royal Welsh. They're Wales's only reserve infantry battalion, paired with 1st Battalion Welsh Guards. They spend six months training to get up to the standard of drill needed to guard the tower and impress the visitors. Carpenters, civil servants, builders, and like Fusilier Ian Butler, a fireman and joiner, swapping plane and hose for bayonet and determination. Very nervous, very nervous. My heart was pounding like 100 mile an hour down at the gate or the doorway just before we got on. And then with everybody looking at you and trying to make you laugh, it was like, yeah, you're going to try, but you're not going to. Make way for the Queen's Guards! For us, it's been a real, a very big honour to do it. Um, and I mean, the reaction from the people has been wonderful. Um, it was a long road getting here. We spent a lot of time training and we put in a lot of extra time to train to do this. Um, and for us, it's just been a really great reward in doing it and just being here and experiencing it. I think looking forward to the future, the fact that we're going to be working closer with uh, the regular army and the fact that we're paired with the Welsh Guards is the real reason why we're here today. Uh, it just goes to show that with specific training beforehand we can reach the required standards. So hugely important and a, a tremendous progressive move, I think. These Welsh reservists will continue to guard the Tower of London all this week. Proud to be the first to do so. Tim Cooper, Forces News, the City of London.